the strong force, the proton, and my model. This post looks at my model for a proton and how it may explain the strong force in a much simpler way. First, a couple of quotes from Quantum Magazine about the current situation. Inside the proton, the most complicated thing you could possibly imagine. The quark model is an oversimplification that has serious shortcomings. Here's my model. The strong force has two parts, holds protons and neutrons together, and holds the nucleus of an atom together. This post looks at the first part, specifically holds protons together. See drawing. The strong force is 100 times stronger than the electromagnetic force. It gets stronger, like a rubber band, the more the proton is stretched or pulled apart. Protons are extremely stable, cannot decay, and as far as I've been able to find out, cannot be destroyed. Though it can turn into a neutron in beta plus decay. That's another post. The resistance of the strong force increases up to the distance of the diameter of a proton. My model suggests the proton is made up of one electron in the center and two positrons or anti-electrons in an orbital around the center. This adds up to a charge of exactly plus one, which is exactly the opposite of an electron at minus one. This also explains where the missing antimatter is. It's in protons and neutrons. My suggestion is that scattering experiments have tried to stretch the proton, specifically the positron orbital. This causes a massive resistance that increases the more the ring is stretched. This is like stretching a rubber band that doesn't break but snaps back. This is what I suggest causes the strong force. The positron ring is so stable that it cannot be broken. The more it is stretched, the more it pushes back to its original form. More on my model in my other posts and videos. Thanks for reading.